I think it's a more mature crew, no? Am I totally wrong? I think I think if, if we secure it, yeah. where it's, it's Daniel and Allison, those two are going to start campaigning against yeah. each other hardcore. And then, because we almost, we had Allison, and then Danielle was in the Danielle fucking diary Allison room. Allison came in here but like, we had Allison, she's like, let's go out there, I'm going to freak out on her. I'm like, yes! Wait, when who I, said that? Remember when I came out and I said, yeah, and then, yeah, well, so what It was, we had Allison, she was going to go down there and freak out on Danielle, you know, and then. Because Danielle probably blamed on her. Yeah. And of then. What? what? Of um, the house coming after me. After you? Yeah. So yeah, so we put we put all the <laughs> Daniel put all the blame on Allison. So we're like, out, and then we told Allison everything, and then we're like, and Allison's like, I'm gonna go tell that bitch right now. And she was all shaken, fired up, mad. We all go down. I'm like, oh, that's gonna be awesome. And then Danielle's in the diary room. So then yeah. she's sitting there, simps, cooling down, yeah, cooling she's cooled down. down a lot. It never went off. Well, I can tell. Like, maybe I'm just paranoid, but whenever I'm even alone for a second, you people, you know, like, they're looking at you like, can I get them alone? You know? And you're like, I'm going with the group because I don't want to talk about this shit. That's what I do, too. So if I get narrowed down with just I'm hanging out with one person, I'm like, I'm, I just kind of cruise away from them. Yeah, like, I'm with, with, with alone with George all the time, and I'm completely incapable of talking strategy to him. I'm like... How he it's he it's like I said before, I said, this George is in over his head with this crew. Like, he's a nice guy, but you he's guys in can over do whatever. You, I'm telling you, think whatever you like. At the end, Marcellus George thinks he's like this Marce- master gamer. Marcellus thinks like <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know, man. I don't. Know. I, th- I don't necessarily think he's a master gamer, but I think he's smarter than he's letting on. He's let. He's distracting you guys with the I can't run. Oh, I just hurt my back. Pity me. <laughs> Dude, he did. He, he did hurt his, his back. back. That, you can't fake you that. Get, <laughs> you can't. Did you see it? Did you look at it? You I, can't fake that, man. And then, like, did you see him running at the water slide yesterday? <laughs> just, but I mean, George is fifty years or something. You know, like, he's not the epitome of shape there. I guess. Okay. <laughs> and he asks really good questions. And if he gets to the end... Oh, uh, if George is in the final two, he's definitely got a shot to win. Because people are going to be like, that motherfucker sold his car. Sold his car, is that the kid? <laughs> he wore a chicken suit in Times Square. Like, give him some money. How can you compete with that? He's an amber. But, I mean, well, let's see. If George is in the finals two, he'll win it. Um... It's tough to say. It's tough to say who who could do that. The Iraqi Peach. I don't know. I don't. You, I'd vote for the Iraqi Peach. If George George and Kaser in the front, you'd vote for Kaser. Oh hell yeah! I, the moment George made the cut, I was like, God damn it! <laughs> but you guys don't secure, see if we it. secure it with Danielle. And Allison remaining on the block as they are. Then who do you want to go? Well, it's just I'm just thinking about the all-on chick screaming match that will take place because they will both be campaigning hardcore behind each other's backs. Yeah. But who do you, and who do you want to leave? Because someone's coming after you. One of them's coming after you. Oh, both. Yeah, and they're both good. So. Yeah. I'm so torn about that. I can't. It's like. Allison is like a physical threat. Danielle is like a mental threat. The the great thing about the asteroid contest, though, is it was really fair. Because a lot of times I feel like there's contests that are kind of oh, absolutely not that they're fair, but they're they're like it was fair, but some things are a little fixed. Some things are totally arbitrary, which you don't want either. And this was. In the middle. It was yeah. fair. If you had good balance, if you were paying attention, if you had good luck, you could win it. Whereas I hate when it's just like, pick a rock out of a bag, and so yeah. now and now someone's, I okay, well, that's not a game. That's just, right. well, that's called luck. Right. Yeah. Like the crapshoot one. Basically. Right. Like, throw this ball. Exactly. And, 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 the whole gets it. That, I hate that. and it's just total luck. And they were always like, you have a day to practice. I don't need to fucking practice. I have the same chance right now as I have yeah. 24 hours from now. I don't have to practice at all. To the bocce ball that kept turning up in every season. <laughs> Super fucking well, bocce ball. On our every season, they were season. always like, you have, um, they would explain the HOH over and over and over, and like, 
over and over and over. And you would be like, if you can't understand it at this fucking point, you can't be it. <laughs> Don't explain <laughs> right. it again. Let's just do it. I know that's what, like, we had, like, a lot of problems with Drew. Like, to, oh. like he would, like, when he was HOH and he had to read a competition, I mean, we'd be on, like, take 20. The, what, like, oh. um... Now, I mean, it would be, I mean, we'd be like, oh, my God, me and Marvel would be cracking up, like. That's what, well, that's what would happen. And then it would, it'd be like, Drew, can we do it, you know, one more time? Then me and Marvel would be like, oh, well, sorry, Drew, uh, that one was on us. That one was us. We didn't, uh, we needed, we were changing out tapes. Uh, can we get one more? Just for, just for, you know, practice. I felt like we were on a freaking set. Marvin sounded like a funny dude. He was funny. Marvin was like a precursor to Howie, though. Like, the stuff that he would get rid of, get away with, I'd be like. Did he just say what I thought he said to Mar- a woman? Marvin, Marvin would be like rubbing up on the girls in the hot tub, like, "Ooh, baby, Janelle, look at this!" Please do not obstruct your microphone. Sorry. So he'd be like rubbing up on the girls in the hot tub. Ooh, baby, mm, got nice skin. He'd be in the diary room going, dead serious. Yeah, I'm working my angle with these girls, and you know, like I'm, you know, massage them. So, and he thought that like it was working, and then the girls in the diary room, oh my god, I'm so repulsed by Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> he thought, like, he thought he them. was the Mac, and all the girls were like, "Ew, like, Ooh, you got such nice skin, Miss Lori Valente, <laughs> sexiest hot Italian chick ever." He's like, "Yeah, I'm uh, working these girls with, in here with that Swisher sweet hanging out of yeah, his mouth, creeping, like, <laughs> creeping them out." Dude. <laughs> and then did he light it up when Diane got evicted or something? Wait, did he really only have one? What? One Swisher Sweet? I don't know. Maybe he did. Like one cheap c- on cigarillo that he kept he, like, for like lit up at the weeks. end. In, in the competition, he'd always like have it in anything. He'd have it in, you know, any shot. That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. I was like, great, big brother. Can you just get, like, a normal black guy? There has to be some out there. You got the gay one. Then you get the lascivious leech. Do you know what was that picture from? You did an episode of Two and a Half Men? No, I, um, I want America's Choice to go on this the set of two and a half men. Oh, okay. And then what'd you do? Meet everybody and hang out and that was it. Yeah. It's like a, they were like, You went a helicopter ride and I was like, This sucks. <laughs> is that what's going You're is like, Do I have to? Story? Yeah. No, it was a we had to blow up these giant balloons and then Bunky and I won it and I was just like Come in. This is not that fun really. Hey Howie. It was like great. That's how I always feel about the movie nights. Yeah. Like that year they won Runaway Jury. I'd have been like, who wants to see that? This is what I can't understand. Luxury competitions have to be something that you can't get super easily in your normal life. Right. Not that a helicopter you can get super easily, but like a movie night, that's not like, it has to be luxurious. <laughs> Jason I go to the movies and, at my house. Jason and Amy on the boat. It's like if I had won a boat trip, I'd have been like, I can't go. I don't want to. You know what? When we won the ability to read the newspaper, that's when I was pissed. Off. I was fucking furious. That is pretty dumb. They knew it. They apologized, too. They were like, we're, we're actually, we don't know what we were thinking. We're really sorry. But I think that would have been kind of cool. Well, no, imagine if right call, now you got three minutes to go read the newspaper. Three minutes. Come on. Three minutes? It's not really relaxing. Rules. That's true. Right, you can't. Like, and you really haven't been awkward. away from it long three, enough. It's three minutes. Right. What are you gonna, in three minutes, we're going to read USA Today? Like, you think there's anything in there important? Like, it's not like we knew about 9-11, but they're going to let you read the newspaper for three minutes? Oh, three minutes with, like, a fashion magazine might not be bad. But, I mean, it's also, it's three minutes. Oh, God, that's true. Three, I mean, you can't read the table of contents and find the article in three minutes. You can look at the pictures. <laughs> 